to get our next guest on. You know what I mean? Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I want everybody to, to pay attention, listen, soak up some game or some 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 knowledge. Welcome to Hold This L Radio. It's the queen of female battle rap. I feel like she's one of the bullies of female battle rap. Um, I love every round, every every time she starts a battle off with you black bitch. <laughs> Straight disrespectful off top. I want to welcome to the show right now, Shuni the motherfucking rapper. Hi. <laughs> What's up? What's going on, Shuni? Ain't shit. Just chilling, you know, out here. That's what's <laughs> How up. are you? That's what's up. I'm good. Well, I'm Capo, Capo Don, uh, yeah. a.k.a. Capology Fact. And my co-host I have is Bars Nunn. Um, okay. He Hello. is a Kansas City battle rapper. Yes. He's a Kansas City battle rapper slash league owner down here. Um, he is one of the – I'll give him one of the vets of Kansas City. Um, okay. And so – and he's very knowledgeable of battle rap, the culture, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. it, I, I'm a very um, seasoned young fellow, and you know he is too. So um, needed some people to know what they're talking about up on the show. You know what I mean? Absolutely, that makes sense. You definitely got to have that. Definitely. So how's everything been? Been? Oh, everything is smooth. Everything is smooth. Um, you know, just taking battles and stuff like that. Obviously, people know some of the uh, turmoil that's going on between uh, Queen of the Ring and I. Um, So, you know, some things happen. And um, right now, we are, um, I don't want to say divorced, but I I guess I'll say separated. So, you know, I'm just doing things. Right. um, You know, going other places and being on other leagues and shit like that, things that I I mean, I used to travel, so it's not too far fetched, but you know, just doing it a little bit more. Um, so that's right. really it. Just getting ready for this. Uh, so is that nice part in Houston? <clears throat> okay. So, yeah. You going? You you going back down to Houston again, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, kid. <laughs> My nephew. Um, I'm gonna be battling Blaze, um, Red Blaze, December 9th. So. Oh um, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just announced it today officially. Um, you know, we were talking about it for a little bit, but they finally sent that deposit. The deposit hit. So, um, yeah, now I'm definitely promoting as of now. So that's what's up right now. Okay. So yeah. let me ask you this. Is the divorce, since you brought it up, I will just start right there. Separation. Since, since separation. y'all separate, <laughs> you, the separation from Queen in the Ring. Yeah. Is this does this stimulate from what transpired with the yes, fight? Yes, it does from the altercation. Yes, so you know I won't. This is really the first time I really elaborated on it um, publicly, but it, it did stem from that. You know things happened, um, and I know everybody you know that's listening or most people know that you know uh, Farrah and I had an altercation. Um, separately with Chrissy and then, um, you know, words transpired with Bonnie, um, you know, hands were thrown and shit like that. And, you know, um, we're being blamed for, I guess, him losing the situation, the boxing gym in the Bronx or whatever the case may be, him losing that. And, you know, I did lose my temper and I did end up swinging on Debo, which I shouldn't have done. But, you know, in the heat of the moment, I don't know who's on whose side and what's what and everything like that. So, you know, I did lose my cool and things like that happened and, that you know it is what it is, but I did reach out and I apologized and I didn't 
you know, even get a response of anything. And then when I did see him, uh, Fallon, I did see him at Summer Madness. He did not speak to either one of us. So, you know, at that point, that was my cue that it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, so, you know, he doesn't have to accept an apology or anything like that. He can hold the grudge if he feels like it. But, you know, I felt a little... I won't say upset because, you you know, as a person, you can make your own decisions and stuff, and you don't have to mend relationships. But at the same time, if you've worked with somebody for seven years and they helped build your brand, you know, and you don't even acknowledge an apology, that's kind of crazy. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that, that's whack. So, you know, it is what it is at this point, and that's what happened. So I'm not going to say I would never go back or Sarah and I would never go back or anything like that because she also is no longer there as well. Um, you know, wish the best of luck to them. But, um, you know, I won't say we won't ever go back because that's, you know, the home league, and that's, you know, Sarah Shuni. So our names are synonymous with Queen of the Ring, so you never know. But at this moment, that ain't the situation right now, you know? <laughs> I I feel it. I mean, I maybe yeah. He probably needs some time to you know calm down and shit. But you know he needs to like you don't got to accept the apology. But at the end of the day, you was a but you know you was a grown woman about it. Like, you should what? acknowledge it. She's like, all right, yeah. I, I hear you, but I ain't fucking with you. All right, cool, I can keep it moving, but you're going to leave my shit on red? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, some shit <laughs> like that. Like, nigga, you received this shit. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that. So, but, it, you know, it is what it is. Right. So, um, uh, we're traveling, looking to, you know, we're making different situations and shit like that because that's, that's not where it ends. You know what I mean? There's plenty of leaves. I battled on sea. Um, the C League, uh, which is Peter Don and QB, battles on their very new league, um, up and coming. So that was a blast. You know what I mean? Um, you'll see me in Houston. QB and I are looking for the right situation for us to do that battle of disrespect, or you know what I'm saying? Who's the Yo. most disrespectful female? That's gonna be crazy. Oh, uh, that'll um, be fire. Yeah, we're looking at uh, that situation. And God. so there's a couple of different leagues that's you know looking at that. So um, if any league owners are listening, we we listening to them figures. You know what I'm saying? That that right there is a situation <laughs> that any league should be trying to, you know what I'm saying, smash up because that shit gonna be crazy. You know? Yeah, Pharaoh Pharaoh just got, Pharaoh was on the show. Oh, uh, was it last weekend or some shit like that? Um, mm-hmm. And um, no, no, I don't think it was last weekend. It was the weekend before, and she like said it was you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was you, her, uh, Dominic, maybe uh, Ashley, Jay Smooth, yeah, Baba, yeah, yeah, and also, yeah, and y'all... Rachel is not an official member of Fab Five, but that's our nigga. So we we definitely on a traveling killing three, and I'm saying whoever wants smoke, uh, we about to call it the Up and Smoke tour. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> whoever wants smoke, it's whatever. You know what I'm uh-huh. Okay, well, you know y'all have to come to Kansas City, man, because. You know, we yeah. have uh the connect we we have the connects, uh, which yeah. I am uh on staff on staff with the connects. Get your best uh, bars none <laughs> Bars none best has five. its own league. I, I hear you. Per, you know I what I mean? I'm just it's the best five and that's it. Bring it bring them on. Let's go. Yeah. Uh I don't know if y'all ready for that. Boy, <laughs> boy, <laughs> you already know. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, if I, what, if I what about Houston, Kansas City? Ain't ready for these titties to show up there. I'm just saying. Okay. What? Yes, I, well, let me ask you this. Let me ask you yeah. this. Since since Pharaoh already battled Marasha, would you battle Marasha? I mean, I would, but she didn't do so well versus Fly King. She was all right, but Fly King, I kind of roasted her. It felt like it, it looked yeah. like it looked like she she lost her passion to to battle rap. To, if I could be completely honest, it wasn't the same bubbly, excited Marasha. So I'm not sure if it was an underprepared Marasha. No, you know, not taking nothing from Fly King because Fly King really performed, and I'm not saying that she would have beating him, you know, if she came at her best, but 
I think she would have did a whole lot better if she came to her best. And I don't want no half ass Marasha. Like, she's dope. Dope as fuck. Is this the Fly King? Is this Fly King uh, West Coast? Uh, um, he's he's yeah. the. Um, mm-hmm. what, how can I call him? Um, he's gay? The gay battle uh, rapper? Yes. But why is that relevant? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. No, I know because there's another fly king. No, 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 no. Yeah. Because there's another there's another fly king. So I needed to make sure because I fuck with fly king. I just needed to make okay. sure that well, was the him. The other okay. fly king should probably change his name because no nobody think about him when we think of fly king. That you don't want to mix that up where people be like, oh, you're battling fly king, and then they be like he's gay, and then it turns out to be the other one that may not be gay. It's weird. He should just yeah. change his name. Yeah. Fly King I is yeah. uh, the one that battled uh, her when a... he battled me. So, yeah. Yeah. And, um, back yeah, there's the a lot of battle like, rappers that got just, the same damn you know, names. Yeah, it's weird. That's um, a fact. I'm going to slap a bitch if somebody come out with Shuni the rapper. Like, I'm going I'm to slap somebody if they come out with Shuni. That's just rough. You know what I mean? Yeah. I talked we, about that before. We're not, we're we're not, not going to tolerate that shit. Yeah. Just yeah, we won't tolerate that shit. <laughs> Absolutely not. It's not happening. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let me let me ask you this. I, I really want to know, like, all right. I really want to know how Shuni the rapper became Shuni the rapper. Um. So it's a it's a long story, so I'll shorten it. I've, I've gotten good at shortening it. Um. Back when I was in college. Uh, I used to do a radio show. I was a, a on-air personality, so I had a radio show called I Dream of Shuni, and um, it was one of the biggest things on the campus. I went to um, a community college, WCC in Valhalla, New York, and it was, like, really, really big. Like, you know, anybody that was coming up underground, I was breaking new records and stuff like that, so it was, it was pretty dope. Um, they had a... Uh, studio, a live studio on the other side of the on-air studio, and uh, one time a guy was just like, hey, could you do a hook for me, and um, I just, it was simple, I just said, you want your grind, make a stack, and, you know, they looped it and everything, my voice sound crazy, so when I heard it, I was like, wow, that sounds dope, and everybody's like, yo, you sound good, just send the thirst, and then um, I was in there another day, we all just chilling, and they were, everyone was writing, and everybody's about to jump on this song, and I was like, I'm on this, and I wrote my first 16, and it was kind of trash to me, but they was open. Um, and then I was like, you know what? Because I've always been into hip hop. I'm like, I really want to try to do this. And um, you know, my sister's boyfriend at the time, he decided that you know, if I really wanted to do it, he put some money into it, invested in me. I made a mixtape, dropped it in um, Miami, and um, from there, it was um, I was just shuni at first. And then I was Shuni the rapper, and then I realized that um, I seen a video of Jazz, and I knew there was a Jazz the rapper, and I knew of Audrey the rapper. So I changed mine to the rapper. And um, from then, people just, it just, like, kind of stuck when they seen my name and they seen it on Twitter when I was really trying to, like, um, actually it was my face. I was trying to, like, have my name as just, like, Shuni. And then they were like, oh, well, why do you have two pages? And then I put Shuni the rapper page. So then they just started calling me Shuni the rapper. And then, like I said, I switched it when I realized there was two other girls named the rapper. So I changed it to the rapper. And then um, I took some time off because I had um, my daughter. I was, like, doing shows on Avenue A. I did the end of the week. Like, I was doing everything in New York City. If people from New York City are listening from, like, the downtown underground circuit and everything, I was doing so much. And then um, when I had my daughter, I don't want to say I fell off, but, you know, you're pregnant for nine, ten months. Um, and um, don't let nobody lie to y'all if you're listening. They tell you that pregnancy is nine months. It's 40 weeks. If you do the math, that is ten months. Um, so, I was, you know, I sat out for that one. And uh, your body's different. It's just like, it's crazy. Your body's different and everything. So, you know, it ended up I was off the scene for like a, a better part of a year and a half, almost two years. And, um, you know, I was just bored in the house and I was going through stuff and I'm looking for battles and, well, not really battles, but I was looking for content and shit that I could do while I'm at home, you know, pregnant, sitting down. And I stumbled upon a um, a battle that DNA sent me from Twitter. He sent me a link. And um, I want to say it was him versus Rome when he had the, the, the bomb strapped to his chest. I think it was him. <laughs> and, um, 
I just, like, I watched it, and I was like, wow, they're not rocking with a beat. Like, this is dope. Like, this is hip-hop. And, you know, after that, you know, you're watching on YouTube. It gives you another suggestion and another suggestion. And then before I knew it, I was up at 5 in the morning still watching battles. Eyes, bloodshot red. And I'm like, yo, this is crazy. So then um, I think I clicked on one of QBs or something like that, and I'm like, oh, okay, they got girls that do it. Or somebody in Grindside, it was either QB or Gaddis. And, um... Then I just started watching battles or whatever the case may be, and then B and I became friends. Um, B and A and I became friends and stuff. And um, he invited me to one of the Smack events. It was the battle where Arsenal and um, Hitman battled. And so Yo, I was like, oh, legendary. Yeah, it was crazy. It was it was crazy. Yeah, that that was like nothing I'd ever seen. Like I had never been to anything live, so that was crazy in itself. Like. Um, and I, I knew a couple of faces, so, like, I knew who DNA was. I knew what Murder Mook looked like. I didn't really know. Um, I knew T-Rex's name, but I didn't know what he looked like. I, of course, I knew DNA. Um, I didn't even know what Hitman looked like, which is funny because I was talking about him, and he was standing next to me. He was like, that's me. And I'm like, oh, shit, because I'm explaining it to my friend. And, that's <laughs> okay. um, and then so I seen some of the girls, right? So I seen QB, and I'm like, oh, she battled. And to be honest, I looked at her and I was like, ugh, if I battled her, I would say such and such and such and such. So then I see Norma and I was like, ugh, and if I battle her, I would say such and such and such. <laughs> right? So fast forward, like two months go by and I keep getting the same like inbox on my Twitter, like, would you battle, would you battle, would you battle? And I'm like, yo, who is this guy? He just kept annoying me. So it turns out it's Debo. And he's asking me what I battled, but, you know, I knew what battle rap was, obviously, because I became a fan, but I had never you know, tried it or anything like that. And then I talked to my manager. I'm like, yo, what you think about this? Do you think it's a good idea? And then he's like, I mean, you ain't got shit else to lose. And then I'm like, you know what? I have been sending out for two years. This may be a way to get my buzz back. You know what I'm saying? So I hit him back. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. Um, and I'm like, but I at least need 250 because I got to get my hair done. I got to get my nails done and everything. And they paid that because um, I had videos and stuff of me rapping and shit. So they paid that or whatever. And um, they gave me Norma, the same girl that I seen at the URL battle that I was like, if I battle her, this is what I'm going to say. So um, I just, like, did it. And from there, like, people were coming up to me in the street like, yay, hey, you're that girl. And, and I'm like, yo, this is, like, crazy because uh, you know here and there people will come up to me off my regular shit and people that's in that you know underground circuit and see me performing but queen of the ring like it was like overnight where people were just recognizing me on the train and stores and shit like that and um I just knew I had to you know be me I was gonna come the way I come you know my hair's done my nails done I need a, a, a nice outfit because footage lasts forever and I think that's my contribution you know to battle rap was like yeah yeah you and you and fair you and fair you and fair was looking very nice at that uh dallas battle uh when she battled that one guy i forget his name but yeah but um, go ahead i mean to interrupt i didn't put that out no 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 it's fine so it's like that and then from then that was basically how i got into it you know because of uh you know by chance me following dna on twitter and him you know, sending me a battle and me watching it. So everything happened, I guess, I don't know if it's coincidental because, you know, I believe in things happen because they're supposed to. So, you know, I just happened to be at that battle and happened to see female battlers that I had already knew of, um, you know what I mean, because Queen of the Ring had had one event before I joined Queen of the Ring. So I seen Norma's battle, you know, and I seen, um, well, I didn't see her battle, but I seen her um behind, I think, E-Heart, when E-Heart battled in the, hot, in the hat store and shit like that. So, you know, I had seen some girls like, oh, okay, this is who these, these people are, whatever, and you know, from then, it just became something so big, you know, and I just knew, alright, I might not be the best in it, but I am going to be one of the best looking. You're going to remember me because I'm going to come out here and I'm going to spit some shit and I don't look like a nigga. You know, we don't have to look like the men to play the part, you feel me? And that's something that I always, you know, stuck with. Like, nah, we need to look presentable. We need to look like, you know what I'm saying? We need to look like females. If you do dress like a nigga, that's cool. But okay, my turn. Like yo, kid, yo, you know? yo, hold up, hold up, yo, cat. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, I'm I'm what dying up? right now, cat. I'm dying right now. You know I, that, right? I know, I know, I know, I okay. know. 
Okay. Why okay, are you so dying? I'm just you I know. got you. Because I haven't let him off the leash yet. <laughs> <laughs> he is a very uh he he you are his favorite uh female battle well, rapper. Let him out. What the fuck? Uh, let him out. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, bars none. Go ahead, my my dude. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Hey, can I can I do can I do me? Is that cool? Yeah. Yep. Go Me ahead. Too. Okay. Now, Shuni. Now, Shuni, you like you familiar with the Breakfast Club and everything like that, right? Yes. Um, I'm Charlemagne, but I'm not Charlemagne. I'm I'm a battle rapper who retired, and you know what I mean. Now I'm an old nigga, and I'm just like I'm I'm still a fan though. So. Mm-hmm. So I'm asking you a couple but, of questions. But with that, with that said, hold on. With that said, he's a in battle rap mode. He's not in league owner mode right now. He's in battle rap mode because he has a battle in December. Go, yeah. go so, right ahead. Go right ahead. You, you trying to put Pammy up on the sofa and blow? I don't give a fuck. Go ahead. What you got in here? Okay. <laughs> okay. Now <laughs> it's it, like these these gonna be some like some dumbass questions though, right? I just need you to answer That's them cool. so I can get my flow. All right. I got you. Your favorite your favorite childhood Saturday morning cartoon. Bug Bunny. Yeah, that Roll Runner shit, right? Yeah, that one, the original Bug Bunny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, just give me your thoughts uh, in a couple of words. Colin Kaepernick. A couple of words. Uh, heroic. Uh, somebody that's really, ironically, taking a stand by taking a knee. Um, okay. And yeah, strong. Okay. Cool. Loaded Lux versus JC. Ooh, God pen. <laughs> that's gonna be crazy. To me, that, yeah, that, right? that's gonna be crazy, and I think um, I think JC deserves deserves it. Um, as well as Lux deserves somebody that is gonna push him because nobody has ever said that JC or Lux would get beaten. Like anytime they put somebody versus Lux, they automatically have Lux winning. You've never seen anybody saying, "Oh, he might beat Lux." You know what I mean? Like, they said it here right. and there for Arsenal, right. but that's expected because it's Arsenal. But to hear it for somebody that's from – it's similar to my class, you know what I mean? Like, coming up with us, like, we didn't come up with Lux, you know what I mean? Like, he was before I us. did. He had his own <laughs> shit, so, I did. you know? Yeah. I'm old. I'm an old nigga. Like, you know what I mean? Like, well, so, like, I, mean, I remember, like, Smack DVDs, you know, Lux, like, no, I Lion's too, Den. Too, but I wasn't battling then, were you? No, I wasn't. Yeah. That's what I mean. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I mean. I'm saying, who 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 Fuck was around you, when you were Fuck battling? You, Cap. I heard who, you. I heard who you. were your peers? You know? Yeah, yeah. So that, like I came up I mean. during the time like where I came up like in a grind time era. Like you're okay. talking about DNA. You know, like right. DNA. Like mm-hmm. that was my era. Like conceited. Like when gotcha. conceited and all the rest mm-hmm. of them. So that that right. was my era. Like when I came into so, it. So like for me, my peers would be like a, a, a would be like a hitman, um, Calico, and you know. Yeah, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a paper in, clip in that because we're gonna talk about that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so so you say like Loaded Lux versus J C. You think that people just don't give J C. like a fair a fair yeah. look because Loaded Lux is kind of, he's kind of like the god, so people ain't really no, giving I him a look like that they, they should. I feel like. Some people are giving JC a fair look. Some people are saying, "Hey, JC might win this." You know what I'm saying? And you, I feel like you've never really seen that when it comes to luck. Like if you see some so and so versus Lux, is always, "Oh, Lux is gonna win. He's gonna three zero. He's gonna do this." Unless right. it's you know Arsenal. Yeah, you, you understand what I'm saying? Like, it, I think JC people are thinking he is worthy of it. His last two battles, he seems to have really, you know, elevated and mastered the crowd. Okay, but listen, so, Mama, listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, like, we talked, but this is supposed to be, like, a, a power, like, back and forth. Have you ever watched, like, the Ellen show, where it's, like, kind of like a word no, gets shot at the person? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, 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 we going too long. Okay, Um, my next question. Your favorite Prince song? When doves cry. Okay. All right. Good. 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 Um. Donald Trump. Fuck him. Fuck him. Yeah. Okay. 
Good. All right. Now, now I can get to the question. All right. When I say money earning, what do you say? Mount Vernon. That's where I'm from. <laughs> okay. Now, old school rapper used to say this. Who is he? Heavy D. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, That's I'm what I'm friend. talking about. That's what I'm talking about, Cat. All right. Now, the whole Hitman Holla thing, you and Farrah, Hitman Holla in the hallway of the hotel. Mm-hmm. Give me a brief rundown of that. How did that happen? It was, uh, it was a joke. I, mean, I was just chilling in the hotel, and Hitman said he wanted to battle a girl. Smack was like, oh, I'm going to call my cameraman. And that was it. <laughs> now, y'all Simple seem to little. attack O Red in that hallway. Y'all, y'all attack O Red like something like nothing of it. It's like, what was that about? Um, I don't know why I attacked O Red. I have no idea why I did that. Um, but I was drunk. Like I was really drunk. Smack and I had drunk the whole bottle <laughs> of. Uh, I think it was uh, what were we drinking? I want to say it was eighteen hundred, like a uh, the gold one. And it was just me and Smack, shot after shot after shot. So I was drunk. I'm surprised I even remembered to jump in for Farrah. And I don't know why I went at Oret. But he, I, okay, I think that's he cool. Because, like, nerves. okay, when the, video, when the video starts to black out, when the video starts to black out, you get hugged up with somebody. And uh, we'll come back to that later. Um, okay. <laughs> how, how tall are you? 5'10". 5'10", without heels on. You're 5'10". Without heels, yes. With heels, I'm normally around 6'3". God damn. That's that shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, this, okay, uh, a bar that I heard in the most recent battle that I saw you, uh, Adar, Adar, mm-hmm. what is it, 18, 14. something like that? Adar, 14? 14. Okay. Yeah. Um, this, the perfect body, how you figure eight. Mm-hmm. I love that. Mm-hmm. I love that bar. That, that was, was cool. Fire. Fire, fire. I was waiting. Now, out of all the name flips that you did out of that whole battle, I was waiting for you to say that you'll get hit with a two by four for thinking we could equal eight. I was waiting on I that was, bar the whole time. So, so I I didn't say that because I told C three that she was going to hit get hit with a two by four in my in okay <laughs> okay and All you know right. what I'm saying. So, but I was going to flip it and say um something about I was um I hit C three with a two by four and now I got eight. You know what I'm saying? Ah. But, I didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I had it originally, but I was like, I don't want to say this, like, a similar bar already, so. Okay. Well, um, she she had a bar in there saying that, like, you like you like fat niggas. Like, what's she talking about? You you like, you like, you like chubby dudes? I do. I do. My, my uh, <laughs> yeah. My kid's father is, uh, he's a chubby dude. But I had said it against um, Mulatto Black that I said I was the one who made it cool to fuck, fuck fat niggas. Um. And I feel like that. After I decided to fuck a fat nigga, everybody wanted to deal with a fat nigga. You know what I'm saying? Word. I'm uh, okay. Yeah. Never mind. All right. Okay. At um, first, hey, hey, bars. At first, at first, I thought she was trolling at first, but she's being serious though. <laughs> no, no, no. I, Yo, I, she's I, dead I serious, bro. Animal. I listen. Yeah, she's being dead serious. serious. I'm dead serious. Hey, my wrong No, that's what's up. That's 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 what's up though. Uh, you know, to each his own. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. All right. Next. Okay. The second round. I know you had that hurts your heart. I... The second round, you had a stumble, right? This is what ke- this is what you and I have in common. Mm-hmm. I can't remember my bars for shit. It doesn't <laughs> matter. Like I can I can study them up and down. I can go over mm-hmm. them over and over and over again. But somehow, if the crowd mm-hmm. gets into my bars. I seem to forget my bars. Okay. So um, I wouldn't say I have that in common with you, but um, I had just written that, and after, like, the whole fight and everything happened and shit, like, I just wasn't really doing much. Like, I was kind of worried about everything that happened because the fight had happened the weekend before, and I was kind of, you know, I was worried about, okay, a bitch is going to send cops to my job, what's it going to look like, and shit like that, and you know, I was worried about my relationship with Queen of the Ring, so I really wasn't practicing the way I should have been practicing and everything. And um, I, I just, I forgot it. The moment that I 
stepped off or stopped rapping because I don't like to let nobody see me struggle. The moment I stopped rapping and I called time, I remembered the shit. Like, so I don't know. This was weird. And and the reason I say that is because I've watched all your battles. And mm-hmm. some somewhere along your battles, like, at some point in time, you seem to lose your place. And um, that was only in two battles, so. Okay. And I've had okay. 10 or 11. Okay. Yeah, you got 11 battles. Yeah. Yeah. So I only, I only have five. That happened, that happened with Maximum. <laughs> that happened with Adar. But with Adar, um, yeah. she, took, she took the round from herself. I watched that battle. Um, she almost took the round from herself because there was a character in the background who finished one of her bars for her. Oh, and, yeah. Um, and I just felt like that kind of took away from her third round. <laughs> so okay. how do you feel about that? Um, I think that you mean that specifically or how do I feel about the battle? No, 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 no. That that moment. That moment when she uh you were turned about to her and about the strip club? Well no, there was there was a there was a somebody in the background. She turned and let somebody finish her bars. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I only watched that once. I don't know if you, if you're not talking about when Fly King jumped in, then I'm not. I don't know if somebody sent it. Okay, is that Fly King? I is that who that is? Because yeah, I, I don't yeah. know who he is. Yes, that's Fly King. Um, I felt like I felt like he outshined her when he did that. He outshined her, right? Because he had already <laughs> right. had a magnificent performance versus Marasha, so you know he outshined her. But I think, um, I think if it wasn't him that said it, it would have come off dull and it would have come off weak. It was good because it was him. He's gay. Okay. And he's like, oh, shit, I can't, you know, you can't pay me enough to smell a motherfucker's feet all day. Like, that's why I was cute. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, if, if she had said it, it would have been like, all right, cool. Right, you know? right. So I, I get what you're saying. And uh, last and last but not least, uh, Loso versus Street Hymns. You and Farah in that battle. How you feel like you did in that one? Oh, um, obviously I was stumbling in that one. So yeah, that makes three, but that still don't mean most of my battles because three out of eleven ain't it. So don't try to judge me, nigga. Trying to get me to hold the L. I see what you're doing there, motherfucker. But um, yeah. Yo, Capo, does she know who her? Does she know who her biggest fan is? No, I, I listen. <laughs> it don't matter. It don't matter. You try, you know what I'm saying? You try to slide it up in there. Um, no, I, I stumbled in that one. I, 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 feel like, um, I feel like we we did good. The um, we did good. We just weren't expecting their performance to be where it was. They stepped up their performance because they knew that Sarah and I naturally have chemistry. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you know, just I'm at Sarah's house right now. Like, that's my sister. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we we hang out twenty four. Tell Farrah I say what's up. I will. She's in the other room. But um, when, you know, with them, they don't live in the same state, so they had to, you know, put themselves together purposely to practice, and Sarah and I didn't have to do that. You understand what I'm saying? So I guess they knew that they really had to play up their performance and be really unified in what they were doing. And I guess, I don't want to say we took it for granted that her and I finish each other's sentences and shit like that, and we could just look at each other and instantly know what the other one's about to say or thinking. Um, I don't want to say we took it for granted, but um, we probably didn't rehearse as much as we should have in the times that we were together. We were just chilling, doing best friend sister shit, really. You know I what like I'm saying? that. And, and I want you to know, I want you to know, like, my favorite Shuni moment, like, for real, like, you, you, you seem kind of tight right now. And I, you must know that I love you. Like, I love everything you do. And you. You know, my, you favorite, my favorite I'm moment. Okay. My favorite moment is like you and Farah like chilling like um against Tori Doe and was that Star Lady or um, no, Don Lady? That no, Don that was Don Lady. <laughs> Don yeah. Lady. I mean, um, but let me say that's... this: I I am not I'm not tight at all, babe. This is how I talk. You you have to know that um when I rap, if you like me as much as you're saying, right? I'm aggressive, and that's not a front, right? I don't turn that on when I'm just in the ring. I'm naturally aggressive unless it's 
when I'm with my man or something or with the nigga I'm fucking with, then I'm submissive. But other than that, I'm just naturally aggressive. Like, I talk with my hands. I, you know, I get excited. I get loud. And, you know, I'm a little animated. So I am not hyped about anything right now. Okay. I'm actually That's cool. That's cool. It's I mean, hyped. like, I mean, I... I just I just want you to know, I mean, I'm not I, I got the X factor and I'm not trying to eat okay, never mind. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Cat, back to you. You know what I'm saying? All right. I guess. I get it. I get it. My, my my nigga bars. My nigga bars. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> All right, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. The state of battle rap right now, how do you feel it is? And and is there anything we need to do to push it to be better? I think we need to keep it as our own. I think we need to continue to elevate the underground aspects of it. If you look on TV, they have, you know, well, I forget that guy's name that's in the car, and he's, like, singing with people, and then he has his show where he's battle rapping against him. Then there's a whole show where I forget the name, but it yeah. just came out with him battling and stuff like that. Like, that's our shit. Yeah, okay, I, don't, I think they're shit. trying to take it from us. Yeah. Exactly. That's our shit. And that's watered down, but you're not going to have nobody on there. You know what I mean? And I respect what ESPN is doing by putting DNA and Kayshawn and all of that. And I think it is elevating and people are watching it, but we can't let them steal it from us. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's the part to me that's whack. Where okay, they're going to have ask you something? and they don't have anybody that has anything to do with battle rap on them. Or anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, you look at the rap, the rap game, I respect what Jermaine Dupree does with that, where he has John John on there, he has DNA and Arsenal, and, you know, this one and that one. At least he's reaching back, and it's not just, hey, I'm going to be a culture vulture, and I'm going to take what you guys did, and I'm not going to talk to anybody. I'm not going to pay homage to anybody. You know what I mean? Grant said he reached out to John John, right. and, and, you know, John John's from Atlanta and everything like that, but some of those people should be talking to a smack, a Beasley, you know, somebody from Grind Time or, you know, or whatever, because those are the people that started it, you know? And to me, that's kind of crazy that it, it looks like people are just gonna steal our shit and run with it. But right. I well, think, what um, do you think? What do you think about this new show that's on right now, where they have like these new celebrities, these com- I, I like these comics and everything? They have these battle raps now. How do you feel about that? I, I haven't watched it, but I, I think it's a slap in the face. I haven't watched it, and I think yeah, it's a slap in the sure. face because at the end of the day, this is how a lot of us feed our families, right? This is how a lot of us make our money. This is how a lot of us get our stardom, right? You, These are people that are making millions of dollars. These are people that can go where they want, be who they want, and do what they want, and you choose to take our little shit and be us without right. even being us? You, know, you understand what I'm saying? Like, if you want to do that, all right. Call, call one of us to coach one of the women that women, you know, actresses. At least bring us on and to have a battle before you start exactly. the show. Right, right. Or tell them where they can actually watch a real battle. You understand what I'm saying? Or put a clip of, hey, you're going to mimic this person. Like the lip, lip sync battle, right? Those people are lip yeah. syncing some of songs, right? And they pay homage to whoever they're lip syncing. So well, we, I, think, I think we already knew, though. I think we already knew, though, when Kevin Hart did his little chocolate drop shit. I think we already knew that, that Hollywood was watching right. battle rap. We know. We know. But. If you think of a a Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart is from the hood. I'm not talking about him. I don't want to see Simon Cowell battling someone. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck if Amber Rose goes on there or something like that. Like, that's somebody from the hood. Like, even if Diddy went on there, Diddy's from Mount Vernon or, or something like that. But you're bringing the whitest of the white. And I'm not racist or anything like that, but these are motherfuckers that don't fuck with us on a normal basis, but it's coming up off the shit that we do. Be y'all. Like, y'all already got y'all shit. Why are you stealing from us? Okay. That, I, I, I can dig it. it. I can dig it. I don't like it. Let me ask, let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. So <clears throat> how, did you, how do you feel about the whole internet viral battle King of the Dot Dead, World Domination 7, Disaster versus Oxymoron, and the views that they got out that bat- off that event in that battle. So I think 
came out of that one is really smart, right? In the way that they market um, from everything that they do with their battles and everything like that, their battlers, and um, I think they're really smart and they're understanding how to tap into the potential of owning capital without really owning any property or anything like that, right? They pick a place and they do these things, but they have all of this stuff that you can tap into, right? They have merch, they have marketing schemes, they have um, packages that you can pick, right? Now they have the, the king of the dot package, right, where you can get content and all this other stuff, and they don't really own anything yeah. similar to an Airbnb. They are smart. They figured it out, right? Then you go and you get Akhmeron, someone who is actually a star, right, in Russia. He's not a battle rap star. He is an actual Rap. He's a rap. Star, he's a right? rap star. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they have battles, Drake. And they have Drake as an endorsement. Star, right? Exactly. So he is a rap star. Like he's done battles and he's dabbled in battle rap, but he is an actual star, right? Um, it's a difference from us where we're getting people that maybe are washed up that used to be stars, right? Well, who we had? Cannabis. We had. Um, Cassidy. Oh, that's not fair, Mama. <laughs> that's listen, not fair. Listen, listen. Call it what it is. These are not people that are active stars. Do you understand what it would have done? So you mean to tell me that if URL announced, right, in a secret battle, right, or something like that, that Meek Mill decided that he was going to battle Loaded Lux, you don't think it would have did 2 million views in a day? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's always the same shit. Yeah, um, it's the same exact thing because he is an um, active star. He has battled before, but he is an actual star. And Meek Mill can afford to bring 200 people with him to an event, just like Oxymoron did. Like, those, he's, this, he's a star. That's smart as fuck. But our American stars won $100,000. Right? This is true. He battled somebody. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I just well, feel like I don't know. it deserves to do that. Well, I, I I I hear what you I hear what you're saying. I don't feel that way because we've already had a kind of an example. It was a smack, but it was more of a you know when Joe Budden battled Hollow, uh, Hollow the Don, it didn't go viral like that. You know what I mean? But that's, but the that's only so only the only reason why it went really went viral is because of the Russians. Let's keep that up. I'm gonna keep that a whole but, fucking but book. But that's Joe, but yeah. that's Joe Button. Yeah. Can you tell me when Joe Button has went viral on his own when it's not battle rap? Joe Button is one of the greatest lyricists ever, but let's keep it a buck. People in hip hop do not really respect lyricism the way they're supposed to. The things that are going viral is that man that that's shoving that Uzi down his fucking throat with that wedding dress on. Yeah. 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 Joe Button is not a gimmick. Yeah. Joe Button is not a gimmick. That's a you fact. know that that's not gonna go viral. You understand what I'm saying? Like that. No diss to Joe Button, but he's not the type to go viral on his own. He went viral with that Migo shit because of Migo. Nobody wouldn't care who the fuck Joe Biden is talking to. We watch his show. We love that show that he's doing. And he's smart. And he figures out a way to stay relevant. But he's and not he going viral him. on his he, own He either. dissed him and walked off the set. He dissed right. him and walked off the set. You understand what I'm saying? He's not going viral on his own either. Like, that's not a good example to compare it to. Joe Button is not our our USA star. You understand what I'm saying? He's not our star. He is somebody that everybody knows. He's everybody. But Hollow was. But Hollow. was our star. Was you know what I mean? That's what I was getting. He was our battle star. Yeah, he was. He our, was not our yeah, our, our. Right. Yeah. And, and we've already showed that we can do millions of views, but we're not doing it overnight like a actual star. Like if you. Let's keep it a buck. If you if this was URL right now, right, and I don't care who he was battling, we said Justin Bieber was about to battle. That would do seven million views in a day. It has to be a yep. star. It just has to be a star, and that's what that guy Oxy happens to be in Russia. He's a star. That's why I don't understand why people are surprised. This King of the Dot made a smart move. It made a very smart move. Well, see, you hey, to keep it real. I didn't even expect it to gain the views it did. I really didn't. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I I couldn't fathom how the views just skyrocketed like that. Once I, once I understood it, like that day and finding out all the information, like 
it was nothing but Russians. It was like maybe like 90, 85, 90 percent Russians in the building. Yeah. And, and he was yeah. He was rapping. He, they say he bought like 200 and they, and, You know how many visas the man had to get? That is a cult. Hey, <laughs> and he sold, and they sold out. They sold out in like a couple of hours. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. and also and he did and he did it for free. I but know. he brought a whole bunch of motherfuckers though. Yeah, yeah. And probably those people probably went with like if, for instance, for me, I have a group of people, right? Farrah and I have a group of people, um, and their team funeral, they travel with us and we're nowhere near as big as Oxy, right? Team and no Shunru. matter where we go, Yo, did you hear that? Yes. No matter where we go, yeah. we travel with us. You know what I mean? That, and that means anywhere we are. Chicago, Houston, like they're there. You know what I mean? And they don't live in New York. Half of them live out of state. Half of them live in Texas and stuff like that. And they're coming here when we battle and stuff like that. So I, I'm pretty sure people are following that man and his success. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that, it doesn't surprise me. I think it's amazing that he did it for free and, you know, did all of that. I think it's, it was a really smart move. And now, I'm, you know, I'm anxious to see what King of the Dot does next. And I'm anxious to see what Diz does next, you know? Well, he got Tay Rock coming, and I don't know, I know. if he's going to be ready for that. Um, I, I somehow don't think so either because it's a different crowd. But it, it, if you read his stuff, he's saying that, you know, this is the biggest battle of his career, and he feels like this is the true testament because no matter who you battle or where you go, everyone, it, it, you still want to touch that URL stage, you know. And people could say, oh, I don't ever want to be on URL, but it, it's it's something different when you are on URL. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't want to take my biggest battles to URL if, if, you know, granted, if I was still, like, fucking with Queen of the Ring, I would feel like my biggest ones are meant for my home league. But, of course, I would love to battle on URL as well. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you would? You okay. Just, you just feel like that you, you made it at that point, you know? Okay. Well, let me, let uh, me ask you this. How do you – hold on, hold on, Bars, hold on real quick. How do you feel about – um, Mook trying to wanting to battle Oxy after all that went down, and how do you, how do you feel? Yeah, how do you feel about that situation? So, so let me just play the game that Bars was playing. I'm gonna say one word: opportunist. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Because he was not trying to fucking babble that nigga, right? Now all of a sudden, you wake up, the shit done did two million views, and I'll sleep. Now you, oh, I'll battle him. Man, get the fuck down somewhere. You shut your ass down. And, and yeah, Mook I just has been trying. Listen, I'm not mad at Mook. I'm not mad at Mook. Like, get, get what you're supposed to get, but... You've been sitting on the sidelines for a little bit too long, Playboy, and now nobody's exactly. interested anymore. And don't want to do anything. Like, niggas ain't really checking for that no more. You understand what I'm saying? Like, nah, now the sun. Get off that on him, man. You don't get out of here. Yeah, I, it's just like, okay, you already talking about you want 70000 to to 100000 right? Because you're mute, mook, and you you'll get the views. You'll do this, you do that. So you go battle Oxy and you get the five million views, six million views. You you they know were, he's gonna use that. He's gonna use exactly. that to I want two hundred and fifty thousand now. Exactly. Like exactly. you you'll never battle then. You'll never battle. Yeah. Like you got other it's motherfuckers it's here cool. that you need to battle. Like surf, it's a math, you know what I mean? people that it's cool that he's asking for these types of money, you know what I'm saying? Because when people that are on the lower end ask for, you know, 3000 4000 compared to Lux, it sounds, oh, that are highly affordable. So that's cool. And I like that he's doing that. But who the fuck is paying him 250000 Because you know this is actually going to do. As soon as he steps off the stage with someone acting, he's going to be asking for 250000 No, sir. We're not doing it. No. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I just, I just hate when I just, I, he's just like a culture vulture now. Like, you, you, you know, you know motherfuckers want to see you battle. 
you know you want motherfuckers want to see you battle, but you want to tease us with it, and then you want to tell us you want a hundred thousand. Like, nigga, I'm yeah. not gonna pay you no hundred thousand to watch you battle. The last time I watched you battle, yo, five rounds was boring as fuck. Like, <laughs> but you that know, don't even I make think, any goddamn. Sense. <laughs> I think we, we set such high expectations to one that comes along with it because. Now people are chasing their legend and they're chasing the potential of what we think should happen. Because if I pay him two hundred and fifty thousand, like that nigga better rap for eighty five fucking minutes, right? And he better yeah. be the best thing. <laughs> he better wake up the spirit of Tupac, Biggie, Big Pun, Big L. Like I mean, he better be the best fucking two hundred and fifty thousand, and he would never be able to live up to it. The moment he says, "I said yo," I'd be like, you know what? I heard what I said yo before, and I'm tired of him. I don't want to hear that shit. You better start a whole new saying for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. No, 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 no. It wouldn't be nothing he could I need, her. I need the uh, the uh, the 3D visual. Like what? What is it called? The uh, the hologram. I need you yeah. to be a hologram when you yeah. start. Exactly. Like, nah, it wouldn't be nothing he could say to us that we would feel like we got our two hundred fifty, you know, fifty thousand worth. I know that much. Like, I would be expecting so much from him. It would be like, no, he needs to come on the stage with a Caesar, and by the time he's in his third round, his head don't go down his back. Like, amaze me, bitch. 250000 <laughs> that he could do and, for me at 250000 No way. And, and on top of that, and on top of that, if it, was on a, if it was on a smack stage, these new Battle Rap fans, they would let him have it if it was something they just would. dead. They because we we would all let him that we would not want that like that would be too much pressure for me like I wouldn't even do it if I was him but for that much money like that's too much pressure like what could I really say to these motherfuckers that's going to be worthy of this amount of money that they gave me like you guys would just walk on and be like all right y'all got the check fuck y'all because there's nothing you could say for that much money <laughs> we would never be impressed like I'm so serious though how could you impress somebody for that much money how do you show your worth there's nothing you could say I'm sorry. No, thank you. I'll pass. That's a fact. Okay. Can, That's I, a can I do my thing? Yo. Go okay, ahead, bro. Shoot me. Yes. I just want to get yeah, – I'm, I'm going to get to know you personally just, like, for, okay. like, 30 seconds. I Okay, listen. Um, He picks me up in blank. This is the most romantic night you ever had. He picks me up in blank. Oh, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's one of those cars that look like the little punch buggy, one of those old ones that people drive when they get married. Like, the, they're either white or black. I don't know what it's called. But it's like a, it? a, a, a really old car. A, 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 a Beetle? A Bug? A Volkswagen Bug? One of the really old ones. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's really cute. I would That would be my okay. like, wedding car. It's kind of like so. It's not like like a, it's not like the latest like six model of a Mercedes. No, 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 no. It's like some cars from like the forties, thirties, forties. It might be older than that. <laughs> okay, he um he does something unexpected. He takes you to where? Um, to my house. He eats my ass. Whoa! God, you know damn. what? I was trying to get away from that. Okay, you know what, Cap? I was trying yeah. to get away from that, but she she went yeah. ahead and went there, so I'm going ahead. No, no, fuck that. No, she went there. So I'm going there. Damn. All right. So okay, okay go ahead, go um, ahead, brother. Shuni, um, God X damn. Factor, X Factor. He's a great guy. Um, was there ass eating involved? No, he did not eat my ass. Mm. That was a lie. Someone made up a vicious rumor. Charlie Cliff's <laughs> lied? Charlie Cliff's yeah, lied. Yeah, well, he wasn't even the first yeah. person to say it, but yes, he lied. Mm-hmm. Okay, hey, let me add, I'm going to piggyback off that. I'm going to piggyback off that, Bars. Shuni, what is one of the angles people use that's a lie? Um, that's a lie for me, or, I mean, that's the one that they always use. Yeah, for you. Yeah, that's the one. Um, they use X Factor and they use Rex, and then they try to name, like, other battle rappers and shit, but I've only been with three battle rappers, so 
I don't know where they there was me. there was there was a there were bars in your most recent battle. I haven't gotten to uh-huh. that yet. That's how we okay. were going to close the interview. I was going <laughs> to close the interview with your last battle, but yeah. um, there was a recent bar that says you fuck twerk. Is this true? Yes, it is. No shit. Did y'all expect me to laugh? No, no, no. I'm I'm so I'm so happy that you're doing it here on Capology. Yo, hold this L radio. Yo, Cap. Do can you do the drop right quick? What? You want the bars, bitch? <laughs> hey, this is Capology in fact, and it's all about the fucking bars, bitch. All right, go ahead, bro. Hey, Shuni, Shuni, can you give us a drop real quick? Just say, hey, Capology Facts, hold this L radio. Yes. You are listening to Capology Facts, hold this L radio. You black bitch. Ha. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to have it down there. But um, in all fairness, so, hey. um, I was I was dealing with with Twerk for a little bit. Like he and I were talking to each other for a little bit. Um, so for a couple months, like probably like six months or so. So I'll just put that out there. I'm not just fucking willy nilly and shit like that. Although well, you, there must right. there must be a problem because if you two, if the two of you are still cool, then you would never you would never go on a radio station and say that something happened like. You know what I mean? So obviously, there's something that went wrong between the two of you. No. What do you mean um, something went wrong between us? You and Twerk. No, nothing went wrong. Cool. No, you just, it, was just, it was just it was some shit that happened. It was like, right? <laughs> shit, that's so what? dope. No, I'm so nothing. jealous. You, I'm jealous as fuck right now, bro. What do you, I'm, I'm just hey, what do you, you mean some shit that happened? I'm missing don't, Hey, Shuni, Shuni, Shuni. <laughs> Shuni, don't worry about bars. Don't just just say you you didn't hear that shit. You didn't hear that. Don't worry about it. Bars bars is the bar. You you are his you are his sunshine when he wakes up. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. That, that, I do have a love interest, but it's not that guy though. I'm sorry, it's not him. I'm sorry. No, you know it's not that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna give you a peep into a a, a man's thought. You know how hard sometimes I work, it's, bro. I it's, work so hard. It, sometimes, I know, I know, I got you. And sometimes men be like, you know, they see a girl they they really like and into, and they find out they was with a, somebody, and they just like how, how, why, and when, uh, you know, that type of shit. So it's more of a like. Uh, I, I was willing, like I was, I was willing to look past the ass eating. I was, look, I was looking past the ass eating. <laughs> I've done it now, it's too much now. Like, oh, oh she disgusts me. <laughs> Listen, but, but no, I, I don't, I don't think you, I don't think your stock dropped. I don't think it's stock dropped. Bar no, still, you, you, he's no still one the one number one fan. <laughs> I, I, you know, nah, bro. bro so, like so, when when I seen her, I like when I seen her battle fair funeral. When I seen her battle fair funeral, she had on like the the ocean, like the deep blue shit that she had on. Man, I was like, damn, like oh, who really who like is me. she? Who is she? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And she mm-hmm. like and she yeah. like and she's spitting her bar. Yeah. She's projecting, and I'm like, okay, she's not a battle rapper because she's like spitting her shit out to the crowd. She's obviously like she been on stage before. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, the, I love, I love this chick, you know? But then Aww. it's just kind of like, oh, man, I'm Listen, just, I'm don't, don't, don't let that change your ideas of me, right? I want you to remember me in my ocean blue shirt, right, as I'm just stepping into the ring. I want you to still love me. Things happen. My past has nothing to do with how you feel about me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I will not let you go. You and I are together right now. <laughs> I am, yo, for real. Like, I mean, I don't know. Capo, did you tell her? Capo didn't tell you that I'm your biggest fan. He did not. Yeah. He did not. Yeah. But why? It's, it's yes. Like you're like a secret fan because I've never, you've never said anything to me. 
no, you're wrong. In fact, yeah. uh, you can go to your Twitter and you can see that I was trying to set you up with one of our biggest prospects here. Her name is Niagara Falls. If you go back to your Twitter, yeah. you'll oh. see as far as none. Oh, I don't remember yeah. that. Oh. oh, Faraday, say hi. Hey, what's Farrah? up, Fair? How you doing, Queen? Yeah, um, chilling, man. I don't know. Chilling. I don't. I don't remember that though. But I guess. Yeah. Niagara Falls. Yeah. Huh. It's not uh, many ways to put that name. Yeah. She, oh yo, she, shit. That, that's my baby. That's my baby. Okay. She's here, right here in Kansas City. She got bars. Okay. If you say so, buddy. <laughs> hey, hey! The yeah. only thing she gonna do, her she gonna say, "You black bitch," and that I'm just gonna be over. Yeah, one day, one day, over day, over one day I'm day. gonna meet her. One day I'm gonna meet her. Like we gonna have lunch together, and this I'm telling you, like mm-hmm. she gonna say that. She gonna say. You black, and if she don't say it, bro, I'm done. Hey, I'm gonna be like, bro, I'm, hey, I'm done. Hey, bars, we need to get all we need to get all the league owners together, man. Like, yeah, we need to get them down no here. Question. You know what I mean? So, make it happen. I'll try to work it. I try. I'm still see, trying to work it on my end, but. Yep, I hear that. You, you, you see, you see how I that? Make it happen, happen, you know what I'm saying? Hell hey, yo. Hey, hey, yo, let me you ask know, you. Hey, hey, wait, 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 yo. Um, go ahead, baby go girl, ahead, you're still there, right? Will you, you yes, you're still there. Bro. Will you do like? Will you do the long blonde hair for me, like you had, like in the uh, two versus one with you and Hitman Haller, like you had the long blonde. All right, calm, hey, all right. Yeah. Okay. All right, calm all down, right. bro. All right, okay. Go you get just back. Gotta, you get just back. Go. Money to my cash app. Pay for it, and I got you. <laughs> go. Hey, bars. Go sit in the corner, nigga. Go sit in the corner, man. Okay. Nigga. All right. I'm I need to see what you look like. Right. You fat? You fat or no? I don't talk about another man, my nigga. You gotta, you gotta talk. <laughs> I scared him. You don't want to tell me if he's fat or not. <laughs> Bars, right. where you at? I'm right here. I'm saying, like, you, I warned you. I warned you. If you had, if she you asked had you a question. On the show, I she asked you a question. She, asked, asked, she asked you a question, though. Are you fat? I'm listening. Are you big? No? Are you fat? She said, are you fat? No, nah, I'm not fat. Oh God! <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> All right, hey. So after Beretta Blaze, no, isn't that who? Is that who you have? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Who else you had? Who you have? Who else you got lined up? Um, that's it right now. Um, we're supposed to be they're supposed to be um booking something in Atlanta. Uh, us five versus their best five. So. I'm looking at that. So Truth Watson and I was talking about maybe um doing that, uh, battling each other or whatever the case. Maybe I'll smoke his boot. You feel me? Um, and hmm. um, we, you know, QB and I are kind of shopping around the battle a little bit, seeing what niggas are so much. Cause it looks like it's something that people want to see. So that may be in the works. But other than that, you know, I'm here working on some music and shit. Basically, it. That's what's up. Uh, yeah. So you, so you working on yeah, you working I mean, on music? She'll be the rapper. She'll need the rapper featuring Bars None. You know what I mean? I'm I'm featured on her mixtape. That's a fact. Send me the track. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on music. So I've been dropping a couple of freestyles and stuff like that. So if you guys haven't seen it, go to uh, my Facebook or my IG and uh, share it, like it, love it, all that good stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, yeah. I have a I have a question. So, I I want you to name me two women and two men that you want to battle rap that you want to battle. Oh, um, two women. So obviously I said QB. Um, 
I don't know what other woman I want to battle, really. Like, I don't know. Everybody, I can, everybody can get it pretty much. Um, I don't know what other woman, male battler. I I would battle truth and um. One day I I would like to battle Suge, even though he's my favorite. Like Shotgun I want to battle Suge. Yeah, he's my favorite. Done. Yep. Shotgun Suge. Mm. Mhm. Nah, I like how nah. He is. Uh, no, I'll see. I'll then I'll be mad if he try to pocket check you though. Like, I mean, just gonna <laughs> keep it. <laughs> nah, see, here's the thing though. She she's gonna be turned on by it. Sugar's a fat yeah. nigga. She's gonna be turned on by it. Uh, I think yeah. I turned him on before he turned me on. I I think he'd be nervous by me because I'm a wear heel, so we'll be able to look eye to eye. So. Hmm. Mm. See, see I don't know. Guy. I don't know. See, you're you're on the radio station with somebody who's like. Six for four. I think Cap, ain't you six four? Um, six five. Are you? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, now. yeah. And I'm I'm six two. But I'm not, I'm not a I'm not a fat nigga, baby. I'm not. Okay. okay. Nah, okay. you dealing with two slenders. <laughs> not. Yeah, right. man. I mean, I don't discriminate. I I prefer fat niggas, but okay, let's you know, we'll talk later. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know what? You know what's so you know what's so messed up, Cap, is that I thought I was gonna get on this phone. I thought I was gonna do this interview and I was gonna be like, Yo, Adar got on that stage and she lied on you. And she yeah. talked about how you you fuck fat niggas and blah 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 no. blah blah. Mm-hmm. I thought I was gonna get on here and be like, Nah, you don't you don't you don't be fucking with fat niggas. No, she's no. like on here like like saying it. On the radio show, she's like, "No, I I prefer chubby niggas." I sure do. I sure do. I need a little weight. You hey, me? bro, I see. I seen. I seen the damnedest things. You know, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's out here loving the Rick Rosses of the world, like, and he ain't even big no more. So, you understand what I'm saying? Somebody is out here doing it. Right. Don't let these bitches lie mm-hmm. now. They like fat niggas. Look at hey, look at hey, Biggie Small. A lot of these chicks out here lying. A lot of fat. these chicks out here lying. I know. All you need is a big stomach and a beard. Let's talk about it. You know what? That's that yeah, bullshit, man. That's what? That's that bullshit. I'll be in this gym trying to get myself together. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> you don't need to be. You know, because you know what? If a female is treating her guy right and she's cooking them home cooked meals, he gonna gain weight anyway. So I don't need me no little skinny nigga. I need to be <laughs> eating my food and eating my ass. Like, hello. Well, no. See, that's that. No, see, that's what you don't understand. I'm a good cook. I cook. Okay, but I wouldn't really want my guy to cook. Like, I want you to know how to cook, just in case I don't want to cook, but. I was raised to always serve the men that are in the house. You know what I mean? So, Bro, I'm, I'm about to start crying me, right now. I am going to serve you. I am going to cook. All right, don't to cry. Play. Like, that's just my thing. You yeah, know? There, bro, there are women out there like that, bro. Like, my baby mama used to do that shit. Like, she used to cook three course, four course meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, my nigga. Like, Make your plate, like, bring it to I'm, you. I'm right, I'm right here yeah. in Kansas City. I'm right here in Kansas City, bro. I could, I could just be with Marasha, but I thought there was other chicks out here like Shuni. That's my nigga Bars, man. Oh uh, man, Bars, you, you, you're nah, killing you're so me, my nigga. Time. <laughs> but yeah, man, I see you laughing because you're thinking about it. <laughs> God, all right, man. It has been it's been a very um, good journey for me. This it's not even been a year yet, bars, man. Like I haven't even been in the game for a year yet. No, nah, um, you you yo you doing it, man, man. You doing it. 
but man, I appreciate you. But I, I'm so happy that I was able to get Shuni to wrap around tonight. Um, okay, I appreciate it. Yeah, I, you you have no clue of how like all my interviews. I'm I'm stoked as a fan, you know. But I can try to conduct myself as you know professional and try not to be like always in fan mode. But I mm-hmm. I also have to think about I have to be in fan mode to get the fan questions for the fans. Right. You know what I mean. Absolutely. So, um, I do appreciate you. I appreciate Farrah also. She came in, came on a couple of weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I'm really trying to find um, a way to get y'all down here. Um, so, with that said, man, I appreciate you coming on. Absolutely, um, thank you. I thank I mean, you. Like not for you know actually rapping, but we'll come out and host or whatever. You know what I mean? Like let us know. We would love to. We we haven't been to um Kansas City, so um let us know. Okay. Um, won't you tell the people what you got coming up next? What battles? Um, if you got yes. some music dropping, uh, yes, where yes. to find your music at? where to follow you on social media, that type of stuff. Absolutely. So our uh, next battle is December 9th, Birds Beretta Blaze at Houston Barcode. So that's going to be going down in Houston. If you guys are in that area, come out and support. Um, follow me on social media, show me the rap on IG. On uh, Facebook is my real name, Destiny's Monsanto. I am not going to spell it because it, it is really long. And uh, But um, you can find me on there. Um Still working on my mixtape, um, Black Widow, Volume Two, but that is coming to you guys really, really soon. Still dropping music. Um, I have music on my SoundCloud, so SoundCloud.com. She'll need a rapper. I also have my first single on iTunes. It's called Max. So just search "She'll Need a Rapper" and that should come up. And I also have a song with a producer from New York City, Dame Grease. So if you search for "She'll Need a Rapper" on iTunes, you'll find my stuff. Um, continue to support and thank you guys for listening. Holla at me, talk to me. I do talk back. Um, it does take me a while to answer shit, but I do talk back, right? So I'll let you go. <laughs> and hey, bars Shuni. none, hey. bars none featuring Shuni the rapper. Um, you gonna be fucked up. That's the new single that's coming out. <laughs> so I hope everybody comes to pick that up. <laughs> hey, Shuni. Hey, thanks again, guys. Yeah. Hey Shuni, hold on, real, hold on, real quick. Hey Bars, I'll give you the last question. I know you got another oh. question. I know you got about a, a hundred of them, but one good one. One question before okay. she go. One, yeah. one good question. Um, Shuni, do you yeah. vow to tune in to Kansas City Battle Rap? <laughs> and when this, when this broadcast ends. You're going to receive, like, many different invites from Kansas City Battle Rap. And it's mm-hmm. real. You have real fans here, including yes, myself. Yes, get me in tune with them, please. Get me in tune with them. I, I like that. I love to support the supporters that support me. So definitely get me in tune with that. So if you guys are listening, add me to those groups. Um, I've reached 5,000 followers on Facebook, but you can also follow me and, you know what I mean, tag me or whatever the case may be. I definitely talk back. <laughs> 